Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I want to address... Address. Huh, no pun intended. <laughs> today I want to address how I curate my style and how I've built up kind of my wardrobe basics over the years that are kind of not so basic, I guess. Today I will be working with my lovely assistant, Carmen, who is named after the lovely, lovely lady who helped me receive it from PGM. PGM? Is it PGM? Sorry. From PGM in Los Angeles. This was my birthday present from my family, which was a huge excitement for me. Today she's just going to help me out with modeling the clothing. So I'd like to start out by talking about what I think a lot of people would consider basic clothing or like wardrobe basics, right? And that probably gonna look a little something like this. I feel like there have been so many videos, so many explanations, so many tutorials on how to wear this, style it, uh, do anything with this kind of outfit. And it just feels a little tired at this point. Over the years, I got really sick of trying to make this look unique. And so I decided to just kind of start building up my own wardrobe basics that didn't include this at all. So instead of giving you another how to style a blue jean white top outfit, I wanted to give you a video that might be a little different that has a little bit more to do with my own personal style. So as far as this goes, I kind of see this as easy clothing. Um, and that's because it is extremely easy to wake up in the morning and put it on and it looks fine. <laughs> um, it's not hard to style, it's not hard to put together, but it does look kind of ordinary. I'd say most people own an outfit like this, so it's harder to make it look different or stand out from the crowd. So what I wanted to give you today was a little look into how I find the basics for my wardrobe and how I style them to be my everyday kind of wear. And my style looks a little bit like this. So if you like this style, if you like this outfit, stick around because the rest of this video is going to be me explaining how you can start curating your own wardrobe to start developing this kind of style. But before I can start that, portion of the video, I do want to put in a word from the sponsor of this video, and that is Nordgreen. Nordgreen is a Copenhagen-based Danish watch brand centered around a Scandinavian minimalist design. As I've developed my sense of style over the years, one of my most consistent accessories has been a simple, functional watch. For years, I've been meaning to upgrade from poorly made, cheap watches that were always falling apart at the seams to a quality timepiece that was well-made and would be a staple in my wardrobe. So, when Nordgreen reached out to partner, I jumped at the chance. Everything about their watches appealed to me. Their sleek, minimal design, the care they put into their quality, and especially their efforts in social responsibility. On top of keeping their carbon footprint at neutral by planting thousands of trees, shipping in beautiful sustainable packaging, and ensuring responsible manufacturing, they've also incorporated a giving back program, where anyone who purchases a watch can choose a cause ranging from health to education to environment to support from a portion of their purchase. If you'd like to take a look at their website, click the link in my bio. And if you decide you'd like to make a purchase, Nordgreen is offering 20% off for the first three days using the code Hannah Lee. After that, the code will go down to 15% off. Again, that's H-A-N-N-A-H-L-E-E. -E. And we're back. <laughs> okay, so diving into how to curate this kind of style for your wardrobe. Step one, easy clothes. These are what I consider very easy clothing for your wardrobe. Unfortunately, they have to go away. They have to go away. Sorry, Carmen, but we have to take them off of your body now. <laughs> I try to keep only one pair of each of these things in my closet so that I don't feel tempted to default to them. So basically my advice is to get rid of your easy clothes. Sorry, you didn't know this was gonna be X-rated, did you? <laughs> All right, goodbye Carmen's pants. <laughs> this is devolving quickly. <laughs> So get rid of those clothes, donate them or sell them online or give them to friends who would like them. Okay, so now that we have a blank slate to start with, I want to talk about color palettes. <laughs> I know this is quite boring, but this is what works for me and maybe you'll find something different, but I personally really like 
very basic neutrals. That includes whites and tans and beiges and browns and blacks or some nice earthy tones like this forest green or like a rusty red. So easy to pair everything together and build up from. Okay, so once I've figured out what my neutrals are or what my color palette is, the next thing that I'll start looking at is pants. Pants tend to be what I kind of base my whole wardrobe off of just because they're the biggest silhouette on your body. Pants kind of dictate what you're gonna do for the day. If I'm gonna go, you know, build a fort in the woods, I'm going to pick pants that are longer and have more durable material versus if I'm gonna go on a picnic and I want to wear a skirt or shorts, right? So that tends to be the first thing that I put on for the day. And then the rest of the outfit comes after that. As you can see, both of these pants and all the rest of my pants in my closet have a lot of similarities. I really like the silhouette and that's kind of what I've decided to go with for the rest of my pants. They are high-waisted, they've got baggy legs, so that gives me room to play in them. I really like that feature. And they're all made of more like natural feeling fabrics like linen and wool. And all of those go together and kind of create this more vintage-y natural feeling vibe to an outfit. So now that we've figured out the silhouette of our bottoms, which is high-waisted with a baggier kind of feel to them, next we want to look at the tops that we pair with them. My go-to tends to be kind of like a crop top or a fitted tank top or bodysuit that I can tuck into the pants. And since I have all pretty neutral colors or my pants are already neutral, everything I have in my closet tends to go really well pretty easily. So I can just kind of throw any top on, on top of these pants. So the other thing is that since I have a pretty neutral pant color palette, I also get to play a little bit with my color palette on the top. So while most of my tank tops and crop tops and whatnot are pretty standard uh, neutral colors, I can switch it up and have something that has a little bit more color in it because that makes it more of a statement piece. So it becomes something that's eye-catching and sort of grabby. So as far as basics go, that is like the very basics of what I look for when I'm shopping, when I'm at thrift stores, when I'm at vintage stores. Um, I try to keep an eye out for those kinds of silhouettes, those kinds of clothes, all that very like kind of natural flowy fabrics, that sort of thing. And that all kind of lends to the overall look. Obviously there's so much more that you could talk about, but I just wanted to kind of give you a general gist of, you know, what, what has helped me kind of figure out my style in putting all of this stuff together. So I hope that was helpful for somebody out there. <laughs> I'm not sure if it made any sense, but um, it was a little confusing because I don't usually analyze why I'm doing things, so I tried my best. <laughs> I haven't had to think this hard about what I am put it, what I'm doing <laughs> in a long time, so I, uh, if it was worth it, let me know, and if not, I can just not not talk this much ever again. <laughs> and then I do just want to talk about the giveaway. Hey guys, so for anyone who's new here, I try to do a little giveaway at the end of every one of my videos. Everyone, I don't know. Um, but it's just a little way I get to connect with you guys. You guys show me so much support, so I like to be able to try, you know, have a little engagement with you. This week's giveaway is this little hat that I stitched so it goes on. It's just a regular old baseball cap, but it's kind of cute. If you'd be interested in winning this hat, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, and like this video, and then just comment. I want you to comment so it goes, and then your Instagram handle so that I have a way to contact you if you do win. I'll be announcing the winner on Wednesday, May 27th. Yeah, May 27th at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Unfortunately, I only have this open to people in the U.S. just because of shipping. If you're outside of the U.S. and you'd still like to enter, you can totally enter. You just have to provide your own shipping label. But anyway, thanks for coming to watch the video, guys. I really appreciate it, and I really hope everybody's having a nice day. It is beautiful here, so I'm going to wrap this up, and I'm going to play outside today. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week. Bye.